Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 10.5. I'm gonna give you five quick navigation tips that'll help you navigate your projects. They're little quick hotkeys, little fast things that might improve your workflow. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're here in Cubase. I'm gonna just, I have an eight bar loop here. Uh, this is just a drum loop that I was jamming over. We'll just make a few extras. So the first way you can navigate your project well is with markers. So I have a marker track set up. You can set it up uh, the way you set up any track, you know, add track, marker. I typically keep mine behind the, uh, the division. So you can actually divide your track list. So up here I have marker, tempo, signature, chord track, and I have the marker be the only one that's visible. So if you start at the beginning of your project, one way to navigate real well is to have it uh, snap by bar and use grid and have the snap on and I just have to click near the one it'll go to the one so if you want to set markers like if I want to set one here I'll delete this uh, an easy way to do it is control one and then let's say you have 16 bar segments so after 16 bars concludes and you're on the 17th bar you can set another marker control two uh, and then we'll go to 33 and control three and then maybe there'll be an eight bar segment so that would be uh, 41 That might be your middle eight, control four. And then to navigate from marker to marker, it's just shift and then the number on your number row that you wanna to go to. So shift one goes to marker one, shift three goes to marker three, shift two goes to marker two, shift four goes to marker four. That's one easy way to navigate. And oh, I was adding markers, I don't know if I stated this, with control and the number that I wanted. So if I wanna add, you know, here's four bars, eight bars, 12 bars, 16 bars. If I wanna add a marker five, I hit control five. And there's my fifth marker. Uh, so it's easy to navigate with markers if you use your marker track. That's always nice. Uh, another tip, that's tip one. Tip two is a B and N. So if you have a track selected, and as you can see, there's uh, eight bar loops here, or there are there four bar loops? There are four bar loops. So if you have a track selected and you have four bar loops, if you hit B, it'll go back by event. So, and if you hit N, it'll go forward by event. So if I take this bass and I create an eight bar and then a four bar, so it doesn't have to be uniform, and I select the bass track, if I go a next, it'll go to the end. B, it'll go back. So that's an easy way to navigate. If you have a, a selected track, you can navigate through events by hitting B and N. N for next, B for back, if that mnemonic device helps you at all. So that's the second tip for moving. Uh, the third tip I have, is um, everyone knows that on your number pad, minus is rewind and plus is forward. Now, if you hit shift minus, it's fast rewind and shift plus, it's fast forward. So those are nice to know. But uh, if you have this selected uh, granularly, like bar, if you hit control plus, it'll just move the cursor forward one bar. So uh, one bar at a time. And that'll be whatever you set this to. So if you use quantize and you have quarter notes, it'll just go forward by note. Now, if I switch this to eighth notes, you'll see it'll go forward by eighth notes. If you hit control plus and control minus, it'll use whatever your grid settings are to go forward by that amount. That's nice because if you're doing a four bar punch in <clears throat> and you're playing bass or something and you screw up, you can just go back to the original area. That's tip number three, control plus and control minus. Uh, tip number four is I think the most powerful tip. Um, it's selecting using your location markers and then being able to navigate those. So if I wanna isolate the areas where this base events are, I can select all of these and I'll hit the button P on my keyboard and it'll move my markers to P. Now here's the interesting thing on your numpad, one and two, one is the beginning of the mark, uh, the selection that you have, and then two is the end. So if I hit one, it goes to the beginning. Two, it goes to the end. So this is great when you're working on a section. If I just want these 12 bars here, I hit P, and one, two, one, two, one, two. So this is a tip that I use all the time, uh, highlighting areas, hitting P, and then that becomes my area, and I can navigate to the beginning of the end of them with one and two. Um, this is super useful. You'll end up using this all the time once you get the hang of this. 
Okay, and tip number five for navigating your project is to just use the transport bar and insert the numbers. But I find that with the transport bar on the bottom, especially when I'm punching stuff in and out, I always mess up. So what I like to do is bring up the old school style of Cubase. When you hit F2, your transport bar comes up. And uh, let's say I want to do an eight bar segment from bar 17, then I just hit tab. And then what's 17 plus eight, 25. And I want to start with a bar lead in. So that's my locator right here. Hit enter. Okay, and then all I have to do is hit I and O or click these things to punch in and out. And uh, let's do a quick eight bar improvisation. I'm full, but I'm eating. I'm dizzy, but I'm lying down. I'm thrashed, but I'm drinking a beer. I can't breathe, but I'm smoking. I got terrible pizza gas. I need to lie down, but I'm already lying down. Okay, and then uh, you know we take and take off our inputs and outputs, and that's why I like to bring up the transport bar a lot of times because I always forget to take those off. But when the transport bar is right in my face, I don't forget. Uh, and, and then if we hit one, we can go back and. I'm full, but I'm eating. I'm dizzy, but I'm lying down. I'm thrashed, but I'm drinking a beer. And uh. And so navigating with the transport, you know, if you know what bars you want things to come in, it's basically just like using a tab system. So if I wanted to go 33 to 37 and start on bar 32, boom, it, it's all set up with just uh, three quick inputs, you know, because uh, you sort of tab across to each of the input uh, fields, in, out, and where you want the cursor. So that's my fifth tip. So that, those are my five quick tips. Establish a marker track with a control in the number. So control six will add marker six. And then you can shift through markers um, by hitting shift one, two, three, four, five on your number row. And that's a quick way if you have, you know, verses, choruses, bridges, to sort of set up markers along those lines. The next tip, of course, I have is using B and N. So if you have a track selected, you can hit N and cycle through events, or B and reverse cycle through events. And then of course, uh, the next tip is if you want to go, whatever you have selected as uh, your unit of measurement, like bars, if you hit control and plus, it'll move the cor cursor forward one bar, or control and minus, and that works if you have used quantize as well. Uh, you know, if it's one eighth, control plus moves forward an eighth note, control minus moves forward back an eighth note. And then the one, the most powerful navigation tool that I know is selecting a piece and hitting P. And then if you hit one on your number pad, you go to the beginning of that selection, or two, you go to the end. Number five is using the transport bar to just input by text what bar you want it to go to, 17 to 21, and start on bar 16. And you have uh, a quick access to where the cursor is and where your locators are. So these have just been five quick tips about navigating a project in Cubase. I'm sure that you use some of them, you probably don't use others, and there might be some that I didn't mention that are very useful. But if there are, let me know in the comments uh, what can improve your workflow working with uh, different navigational techniques in Cubase. And this has been a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace. I'm full, but I'm eating. I'm dizzy, but I'm lying down. I'm thrashed, but I'm drinking a beer. I can't breathe, but I'm smoking. I got terrible pizza gas. I need to lie down, but I'm already lying down. <laughs>